Hey, so I'm really sorry, first of all, that I didn't get my videos out on time this week. I'm supposed to be putting them out Mondays and Wednesdays, uh, but this week was pretty busy. If you don't follow me on social media, then you might not know, but Swanson had a few emergencies this week, so I had to take him to the ER. Uh, and Joel is out of town for GDC, so I had to do all this myself, which is fine. It was just a lot. So I actually didn't even stream this week. I really didn't do anything after work. I kind of just stayed here and spent time with Swanson. So I wasn't able to record or edit anything. I This week was also very busy because, surprise, I was playing Light Your Frontier for work and getting guide stuff out. And I no surprise here that the PvE survival crafting game is really difficult to get a lot of time into and you have to sink a lot of hours into to get anywhere. So I was really busy this week, so I do apologize for that. But I'm glad I have time to make this today. So I'm going to start with what I'm reading. So I'm currently reading I'm Glad My Mom Died and actually just finished this this week. And it's this memoir by Jeanette McCurdy, who played Sam on iCarly and Sam and Cat. She is so good at writing. I actually reviewed this book on Goodreads because I was so blown away by it. I gave it five stars, which is the top marks. And I think it's just incredible. The way that she writes definitely reflects on the amount of time that she's been able to journal and get her emotions and thoughts down on paper prior to writing a book. She is so good at describing what it is she's feeling in that moment, what her thoughts are in that moment. And it really makes you feel like you're experiencing her anxieties, her fears, her hate and all that in, in the same setting as her when you're reading. And she writes in a way where things aren't drawn out. The chapters are very short and they're short to make points. She's very good at ending each chapter, even if it's like a page, that's a chapter, right? She's very good at ending it on a note that's supposed to sit with you. And I really like when books do that. I really like when people do that with memoirs specifically, because it lets you digest what they've said and what is being told. And you can also kind of pause after that page to figure out how you're feeling, how you're going to handle this. It's so interesting. But also with this book that I read, I honestly bought this book about a year ago and I was going to read it, but I got held back. I got busy. And honestly, I wasn't very much into reading at that point, but I actually got a um, little light reader for in bed. So I was using that. And also when I commute to work, I sit on the Metro and I was reading the book and I actually finished it on the Metro. It's really fun reading between things. It's, it's really, it's really nice and relaxing before bed. It's great. Um, I decided to read this book and pick it back up after a year of not reading it because of the uh, Quiet on Set documentary that aired about Dan Schneider and it finally exposed him for the piece of shit that he is, right? I want to watch it. That's going to be the next thing that I watch, but I wanted to read her memoir and she doesn't name him outright. She just calls him the creator in her book. She actually talks about not taking hush money, which I'm so proud of her for not doing because she could have used it. And I'm really proud of her for not doing that. It's really fucked up because I grew up with iCarly and I adored the cast and I especially loved Sam, but she was basically forced into acting by her mother. She only did it for her mom and she was abused by her mom for so long she didn't even know that it was happening so i highly recommend this book it is very good it's pretty short and also it's an incredibly easy read although the topics are not easy but it's very very informative on what exactly happened and how she is now and you know what it is that she actually wants to do with her life which is very refreshing and i'm, I'm very glad that she's recovering and she was able to get this out and it's, it's a very good book i highly recommend it I'm currently playing Helldiver still, but I also started Shadows of Mordor. I actually started this on the plane ride over to Georgia where Joel's friend was getting married. And oh my God, I love this game. I've only played a few hours of it and it's so good. I don't know what took me so long to play it. It's been in my Steam library for forever, but I just, I just never wanted to start another fully fledged game. And I know that it's pretty beefy. There's a lot to do, but I downloaded it because I was playing Baldur's Gate 3 on my Steam Deck on the flight. And I actually got, I, I didn't think I'd get to this point, but I was like, you know what? I'm tired of this. I've done this. Let's try something else. Luckily, I had Shadows of Mordor downloaded on my Steam Deck. It took me a few runs of dying to get a feel for the game. But even when I died, I really liked the game. I thought it was so fun and the NPC system, like the, the nemesis system is so fucking good. 
I don't understand why they haven't done more with this system. And I'm actually kind of upset that I started playing this game because now I understand why people are upset that they, they trademarked the fucking Nemesis system and haven't done anything with it. Now I'm upset because I'm experiencing this and I'm like, wait, no, please do something with it. Luckily, I have the rest of this game and the sequel to play, so I've got that for me at least. But I'm really upset because I really like this game and it could be used in so many other games. My friend brought up the fact that it could be used for like a Mad Max game. Fucking imagine how cool that would be. Anyways, playing through Shadows of Mordor, I'm definitely going to be playing that on stream uh, paired with some Helldivers because I actually unlocked Helldivers difficulty. So it worked. I did it. You know, it was blood, sweat and tears, but fucking did it. I brought it myself. <laughs> also, I'm almost level 25, so we're getting there. I'm currently watching not a lot, actually. I, you know what? I do want to watch the Halo series though, because I hear it gets kind of crazy. I have seen a few minor spoilers on like what and who appears in this season, and I am so excited. It seems like Halo, the show is like actually returning to its roots, which is very, very cool. So I do want to watch that. I've only watched like the first episode of the second season. So once I watch it, I will give you a full rundown on if I like it, if it's worth it for Halo enjoyers. But yeah, I want to watch that. I think it'll be really fun. And I don't know. I'm really digging sci-fi right now in terms of TV and stuff. But also I really like casual TV watching. Melissa and Joey has been my like sitcom that I've attached to because I'm almost done watching through Modern Family. So you know, I need something lighthearted to watch while I eat. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm one of those weird ADHD babies that like cannot eat or like do dishes without having something else there to distract me from what it like I'm doing. Right. I know Invincible season two is officially all out and I do need to watch that. Also, the boys is coming out with their newest season soon. So very excited for all of that. I'm honestly really excited for the TV that's coming out this year. Still sad that Stranger Things is probably not coming out this year and is probably coming out next year, but you know what? It's worth it. It'll be the last season. And I'm very curious to see how they're going to handle the time jump if there is one, because the kids have grown up. I don't know if you've seen what they look like now, but they're full adults. Swanson is going to be doing his treatments and it's going to be tough. Uh, he starts next month. So expect things to be a little bit sporadic. I will still try to keep up with videos here and stream, but uh, just letting you know, some days it may be tough. We were given the diagnose, diagnosis and prognosis uh, for his cancer after we got his CT scans back. And um, apparently he, with radiation treatment, he could have potentially up to six months, maybe more, depending on. But the vet was very clear in stating that Swanson's cancer is pretty... Uh, aggressive so i've been real sad i have never felt like i had found my soulmate until i found swanson two years ago so um yeah it sucks and this is the first time i've been able to talk about it openly uh and without bursting into tears <laughs> so progress Obviously, I'm going to take whatever measures I can to try and keep Swanson alive as long as possible and, you know, also keeping his quality of life up. Um, I think the part that sucks the most is that he's only eight and I've only had him for two years. And the other six years, actually, he was living on the streets, which is wild in Oakland. And he was rescued and then I found him. I, I'm, I'm really sad, but I'm also very angry that I've only been able to know him for two years. So that's where I'm at right now. Very sad. It's been very difficult trying to do anything. Um, so it's it's been difficult. It's been a slow moving process, but you know, I'm trying to get back to a normal schedule. We have all those radiation appointments scheduled. So best thing to do is be positive. And I did start a fundraiser for him and his uh, treatment costs because they are pretty expensive. And only if you feel like can or you want to donate it is not mandatory it's just there to help if you want uh i do know for a fact that i will be using some of the money to buy him rotisserie chicken that i will feed him every night because he deserves the world oh good news is i've found a gym i finally decided to make way okay well i didn't decide honestly the gym 
managers were like hard selling their gym because I was gonna go shop around and look at things, but I went to this one particular gym and they're like, you know what? We'll take everything off. Like we're gonna do the special offer if you sign up today, which I know that's how they get you. I know, I know, but it was a really good deal. I only paid like a dollar for two months. So I was like, all right, fucking fine. It's month to month. If I hate it, I'll leave, right? So I feel like I'm officially moved in now that I have a gym. <laughs> Thank you for always being here and being patient with me. I know I've not been the best with video uploads here specifically, but I do want to be better, which is why I'm like, you know what? Even if it's late, it's better late than never, right? Hopefully I can keep this up. But thanks for watching this episode and I'll see you next week.